Everything you see in this massive sinkhole in Land O'Lakes is being pulled out. Workers are taking all of that debris to a landfill and letting the owners see what they can salvage. Most of this is just wood and other debris, but workers did find cash and a lot of it. Eric Glasser introduces you to the men just crazy enough to climb into this hole and get it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. That's right. That's what we do. We do a lot of stuff other people don't want to do. And in this case, that somebody is Gary Grubbs, his company hired by Pasco County to remove tons of debris from that massive sinkhole in Lando Lakes. Grubbs' team just crazy enough to climb into the 50-foot deep abyss. We got live jackets. We got um, you know, throw ropes. We got everything we need on there just in case something happens. Most, if not all, of the debris belongs to people who had been renting the two houses houses destroyed on day one. Somewhere in there, several automobiles, two boats, a motorcycle, and more, including cash, a wad of $1,900 that floated out as they were working. Digging around, removing material, and it came out of something, and it was just kind of floating in the water, and it was just all stuck together. Exclusive video from inside the hole shows how the team uses a barge and a small front loader to collect what they can find, then move it into nearby dump trucks. Debris from the sinkhole is eventually making its way here to the Pasco County landfill off Hayes Road. Officials at the landfill say most of the debris is too damaged to salvage, but the rest has been scattered on this spot where renters can then sift through it at their own risk, warning them that some of it may have been exposed to biocontamination that Grubbs team faces constantly. It's a dangerous situation. We've got to go through some, you know, some specific um, the procedures that allow us to stay safe. As for the biggest items, the cars, the boats, gone, says Grubbs, sucked underground too deep for them to reach. But this morning, his team did find a file cabinet in the last small piece of house still standing and what appeared to be important legal papers inside. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty, uh, they were pretty excited when they seen that. A small victory amid so much loss. At this day, any, any good news is great news. In Lando Lakes, Eric Glasser, 10 News. The county says it has a pretty good idea who all that cash belongs to. It should only take another day or two to get all of the debris that they can reach. They figure it'll take another five or six days to get the sinkhole shored up as long as it doesn't keep growing.